I'm a huge fan of sweet potatoes for a number of reasons. One, I like the taste better than traditional potatoes, but it's also loaded with beta carotene, fiber, and even protein in here. Here's one of my favorite things to make for a crowd. It's my twice baked sweet potatoes with a cilantro, avocado, pomegranate topping. So for your baked sweet potatoes, I just wrap them in foil, poke a few holes in them to let them steam, and at 425 degrees, I bake them for about an hour until they're very tender. And I'm gonna need two of these for our recipe. And in a large bowl, I'm just gonna scoop out the flesh. We're gonna save the skins. And the next thing that we really need to do is add some heat. So I'm gonna do one jalapeno per potato. I wanna blister the skin on the outside, make it a little bit more soft instead of having a raw jalapeno. This is gonna take about four minutes, and every 30 seconds or so, you just wanna rotate them so it gets completely blistered and dark on the outside. I know it looks burnt, but this is exactly what you want. And then to remove all of that, I'll show you how simple it is. Take a clean dish towel, and almost immediately, they start to shed their skin. So all that black charredness is coming right off. And you wanna destem them. Most of the heat is actually not in the flesh. You can scrape out the heat right here in the middle. And you just wanna pop that out. So with our jalapenos, cut them up and add to our sweet potatoes. That looks so good. I have a whole milk Greek style yogurt. I'm gonna put in three quarters of a cup. It's actually a nice healthier alternative for butter, for sour cream. Okay, and now we're gonna mash it all together. And then if you want, you can add a little pinch of salt. And what I like to do is hold in one hand our sweet potato skin and start to fill it. And then I just like to do a little drizzle of olive oil right on top to like crisp it up when it's baking. And some freshly ground black pepper. And into the oven at 425 degrees, we're gonna bake these up the second time for about 15 to 20 minutes. I wanna make a topping for this. So it needs about one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. We're creating a pickling solution for our shallots. And shallots are kind of like an onion, but they're sweeter. And I'm gonna take half a shallot, cut it up into smaller pieces. And this is where you kind of really want to get some finely diced shallots. Next we need a nice ripe avocado. And finally, the last thing that we need is some pomegranates. Mother Nature's rubies. It's a tartness, a sweetness, all in one little gem. And what you need is like a big handful, approximately a quarter cup. Carefully mix this together because I don't want to turn this into guacamole. You can take a little bit of cilantro. This is optional. And then sprinkle this in to our beautiful sweet potato topping. Well, it's been about 15 minutes and I think the potatoes are done. Oh, they're perfect. Can you hear it crackling? Yum. Instead of topping this with sour cream, use yogurt. So I'll just put a dollop right on top. And then we'll take some of this beautiful cilantro, avocado, pomegranate mixture. And doesn't that look delicious? Don't feel like you can't eat the skin. There's a lot of great fiber in it. This is a treat because it's sweet. It's a little spicy. It's a little crunchy. It's a little creamy. It kind of checks everything on your list of things to make the perfect twice-baked sweet potato. Enjoy.